is is hard because expecting something from someone is you expect something from someone see see this is what i mean why i can't express my feelings okay you you expect something from someone because you would do the same for them you know how do you do that how do you how do you separate that stop expecting but continue to do that for them how do you separate that you know because me expecting too much doesn't just hurt me it hurts other people too because they feel like they're not enough you know when all in all reality they are it's just i'm expecting too much And I'm talking about, like, friends, family, relationships, like, all of that. I'm talking about all of it, you know? I'm not talking about one specific thing. Like, I would walk through hell and back for anybody. Anybody that I love and I care about. But it's just, like, no one would do the same for me. And that's what it's like. Expecting too much. But that's, that's okay. This made me realize I need to apologize to someone. That, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. How do you sit back? I don't know. How do you stop expecting? But continue to s still give? more than what you're receiving wow that was deep that was deep did you hear that i'm gonna say that again i'm gonna see for how do you stop expecting but continue to give more than they what did i say fuck i forgot how do you stop expecting but continue but still give more than they will ever give it's kind of basically the point of it, right? I just want to be happy. It seems like every path that I take to be happy is just kicks me in my ass because I expect too much. But I don't know how to stop expecting. I don't know how to separate expecting and uh just letting things be the way they are or i don't know how to separate expecting and accepting you know i don't know how to separate accepting and accept ex expecting and accepting that's a tongue twister how do you do that how do you sit there and accept the fact that you will always be the one to give more give more time to give more appreciation and love and again i'm not just i'm not talking about one specific thing i'm talking about like friends family relationships like i have this problem with friends mostly like it's hard because like when when you're Say that you want to... You want to be with this friend and you want to, like, hang out with them and stuff like that. But it's just, like, they tell you to do something and you do it, but it's still not enough. It's hard to not expect things whenever they expect it from you, you know? So it's like, I don't know. See, this is why I don't talk about my feelings anymore. Because, like, I don't know how to. How? How do you sit there and let words pour out of your mouth? I used to do it. I used to be so good at expressing my emotions. So good at talking about my feelings and talking about things that need to be talked about. But now I can't do it. And it's aggravating. It's frustrating because it frustrates other people. And I can't do anything about it. You know? Ugh. Sorry, this is a venting live.
I know some people are gonna be like, stop expecting things from other people and just love yourself and treat yourself amazing and stuff like that, but it's hard. It's hard. Because I have so much love to give to other people and love and time and appreciation to other people that it's just hard for me to just sit there and just like give it to myself. Like I get, I give my, I love myself. Like I'm not gonna lie, I love myself and I, you know, I know that I'm a good person and I know that I'm not a horrible person. I know that I was a horrible person. I accept myself. I love myself. I do everything. I do everything in my power to to for myself, you know? I love myself. But there's all this extra love that I want to give to other people because they did the, the, the you know, they I just like it and I don't expect anything in return, really like Actually, I do, but like, I, I don't expect, like, say that I buy somebody a gift. I don't expect them to give me money or give me a gift back. I expect, all I expect and want from that situation is just the reaction. The reaction that... The reaction that they get when I give them their gift. That's it. You know, and I... I You know, and I, I just, I, I want friends, family, relationships. I, I want these situations. I, I want. To just, fuck it. I just want to be happy, bro. Why is it so hard? I'm trying everything in my power, you know. What did I expect? Why do I ex expect? Why can't I just accept, you know? My love language is physical touch, not gift giving. Physical touch, emotion, passion, romance, eye contact. Th those are my, that's my love language, you know? I don't care about money. I don't care about any of that shit. Like, I don't need you to buy me this, that, and that and spend money on me. I don't want that. Like, I'll accept it if you give it to me and stuff like that and I'll appreciate it. But I... I... Quality time. Quality time. Is the only payment that I will ever, ever, ever want back. But that's too much, right? Quality time from friends, from family, from relationships phone call my father doesn't even call me are you trying to say all you want is the bare minimum is that what it is because all my life I've never been able to have that and that's what my ex used to say about me you know Nika she used to tell me that, that, that she asked me what I wanted in a relationship and she said that was the bare minimum and I was like, what? Because all my life, all people have been ex expect, like explaining to me was that I was too much. Is that the bare minimum? Quality time, appreciation, love, commitment, physical touch, sexual intercourse sometimes, you know? Like, that's relationship wise. But friendship-wise, too, minus all the, you know, naughty-naughty things, like, appreciation, quality time, a phone call, like, family. If it's such a bare minimum, why is it so hard for people to just do it? Because that's the bare minimum for me. Oh, you want communication? You want um, love, appreciation? You want uh, physical affection? You want commitment? Okay, I'll do it easy. That's not hard for me. But why is it so hard for other people? To be loyal to a friend, to be loyal to a family member, to be loyal to a significant other, to, to, to want anything, you know? There's so many kids going up and down this fucking road.
Why can't I ever find people to do the bare minimum without telling me that I'm too much? If I'm too much for a friend, for a partner, for a family member, go find someone less. You know? I'm not too much. And I'm sick and tired of people treating me as if I am too much, you know? I'm a good person. I'm an amazing person. I'm, 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 I just want the bare minimum and that seems to be too much for friends, for families, for partners. Like, I, I don't know. I just... I think all the emotions about tomorrow are just hitting me right now. Cause I don't, I don't care. I don't care about tomorrow. I don't care. I'm not telling you what tomorrow is. I don't care. But also, it's sad. Not sad, it's annoying. I'm angry about tomorrow. But I also don't care about tomorrow, if that makes sense. Make a distraction for tomorrow. I tried to make a distraction today. Because I knew what was happening tomorrow. We'll find people when we stop looking. But no one ever seems to talk about the fact, in that sentence, we find people when we stop looking. No one ever wants to talk about the fact that when we stop looking, no one wants to talk about that process. When you stop looking for a partner, for a friend, for a family, it's lonely. No one wants to talk about that process. It's so lonely. I'm lonely. That's part of the reason why I came to Colorado because these people here they've always made me feel not lonely you know but now it's just like I know I need to stop looking for and expecting things but but the process of stop looking stop expecting is so lonely I'm lonely. <sighs> but you know what? Being lonely is fine. Because then you don't expect too much from people. Then you don't have people telling you that you're too much. Then you don't have people to leave you, you know? Honestly, honestly, I'd rather be alone. Than to be a disappointment to so many people, bro. Like. Why do people leave? Why do people hate me? What did I do? What did I do? In my own way, through life and whatever, I've never, I have, but in the moment, I don't see it as something ill. Like, I don't wish ill on people. Like, I don't... I did, but I don't anymore. Like, I... I, I think that... Out of all the people that I've known in my life... And all the shitty things that people have done... Murderers... Kidnappers... Predators... Bullies. I feel like... I... 
I just try to help people. That's all I do. And then, you know, honestly, being lonely doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world at this point. Because I was lonely. But when I was lonely, I was not expecting things from people. Friends. Family. My dad doesn't even fucking call me. Try to help people and they use you, huh? But that's the thing. I'm the easy target. You know, recently, like not too long ago, a group of people targeted me because they knew, they knew I wouldn't do anything back. They knew it. Because... can't. I won't. So I keep my mouth shut. I let people talk so badly about me that I pretend it doesn't hurt. And I keep my mouth shut. Because I'm an easy target. And I'm not trying to victimize myself because I'm not going to lie. I have made many mistakes in my life. But it's not fair. It's not fair. To me. When people judge me for who I was before. You know? Because today, I get messages of, you've saved my life. I spend hours on lives talking to each and every single one of you about your problems and I want to help you, you know, and when friends call me in the middle of the night, I I answer and I help them with their problems. When I'm having a bad day, I put it aside and I make sure everyone else is okay. Because you want to know why I did that? Because people think, um, hold on. People think that saying, you know, when you are upset, everyone else is upset. When you're happy, everyone else is happy. You think saying that is supposed to be so cool? You think saying that's a compliment? No. Saying that is not a compliment. Saying that, so many people have said that to me because I have such amazing energy. That when I walk into a room and I'm upset, everyone else is upset. When I walk into a room and I'm happy, everyone else is happy. That's just the amount of impact and energy that I have. When you say that to me, it makes that... that That's why I pretend I'm okay all the time. Because I pretend I'm okay on live. I pretend that I... You guys ask me if I'm eating and I say yes, but I haven't. I pretend I'm happy in front of other people because... I don't know. Because I have that energy, I guess. You know? That's too much pressure on me. To control everyone else's emotions around me when I walk into a room. That's too much pressure. Is there not a single person on this earth that thinks, Hey, Mahu is sad. Why don't we help them? Instead of being sad with Mahua, you know? Why don't we help them get their mind off of it? Why don't we, you know, play video games, get drunk? Why don't we go, you know, do this, do that? Like, why? It's not my responsibility to protect and to be okay so that other people can be happy. Like, why is that on me? Why? Have you ever had someone say that to you? That you Why? Have you ever had someone say that to you? That you just have this sort of energy when you walk into a room and you're happy, everyone else is happy? And when you're sad, everyone else is sad? Has anyone else told you guys that?
know, people tell you every day, all the time. Hey, you should talk about your feelings. Hey, you should do this, you should do that. Hey, you should talk about your emotions more. You should communicate more. But the second that you do, you become too emotional. You become too dramatic. You become a psychopath, crazy. You become crazy, you become a psychopath. You become a bad guy because you're expressing your emotions because everyone's telling you to express your emotions, right? Everyone. The second you do it, you become crazy. You become dramatic, irrational, stupid. I don't know how to talk about my feelings. Even talking about this right now is so hard. I'm trying to come up with words to say to make it sound correct or whatever and i'm afraid i'm going to say the wrong thing all the time for example um i say i'm done a lot you know i say i'm done whenever i'm in the middle of an argument or something and that hurts people's feelings understandably understandably it hurts people's feelings but that's not how i meant it i don't mean i'm done with you i don't mean i don't ever want to see you again i meant i'm done with this argument and i probably should just say i'm done with this argument blah blah blah. but it's just like in the in the moments my brain just says i'm done you know Uh oh. I don't know how to trust people. I don't. I don't know how. Last time I trusted someone, they twisted my words. It made everyone hate me. They used my generosity and kindness against me because they knew that I wouldn't. I don't go off on people. I don't. I don't like confrontation. I don't. When someone wants to say so many bad things about me to my face, I keep my mouth shut. Because what am I supposed to say? I don't know what to say. You know, I've been called a crazy bitch. I've been called... I've been called... A, I victimized myself. I've been called a disappointment. I've been called... I've been told that it, it's been better. Life has been better for people when I was locked up, trigger warning, locked up in a mental hospital, you know? Like, and I don't say shit. I don't say anything. I've been used by one of my, by a person I trusted, a close friend of mine that I trusted. I've been used for sexual acts. I've been sexually assaulted and I haven't even brought it up to them. They don't even know that they did that to me. They don't know. And they're going on with their day thinking that they did nothing wrong. You know? And I just stay quiet. And I'm not victimizing myself. I don't care to be the victim. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less to be the victim. Because obviously in many, many, many people's stories, I'm not a victim. I'm a fucking horrible person. For what? What was so bad that I did to you? I stopped texting you. Like, I... Um, I killed you i killed your dog like did i did i kill your dog did i kill your fucking foot and i get it i'm actually i shouldn't say that because i'm invalidating other people's feelings but i just feel like in a situation no buts 
I'm invalidating people's feelings and I shouldn't do that. I don't care to be the victim. I don't. I really don't. I will validate everyone's feelings, but why is it so hard for people to validate mine? People people don't understand the difference between, you know... What was I going to say? See? Ah! I was going to say something that was, like, so amazing and so, like, inspirational, but I totally forgot. I'm trying to think. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't trust friends. I don't trust family. I don't trust significant others. Like, everyone just fucking uses me for what? Actually, I know why. Because I'm just... Nice guys always finish last, right? Right? Anyway. I'm gonna go. Because I have to go give Ethan his water bottle. Probably gonna hang out with him for a little bit. But... I will talk to you guys later.